Jetpack Data Store is a data storage solution that allows you to store key value pair or type object with protocol buffer. First of all, we will add the dependency for this data store. Data store provides two types of implementation, preference data store and proto data store. In this example, I will show how to we use preference data store. Now I will be show how to create a preference data store. First, I am going to create an application class. In this application class top level, I will create an instance of the data store in context level, context store data store. It will be created by the preference data store delegate method. It will create the instance of the data store preference. Now I'm calling the uh, delicate method preference data store and in, in this there is a property of name put the preference name my bucket. Now re register this application on manifest file. Write to a preference data store. Let's first create a local context by local context or current. Create a coroutine scope by remember coroutine scope method. In this uh, welcome page, there is a text field with the enter your name. In when user type something on that it will visible a button below this text field in this text field button on click we uh, i have created a method name save your name and passing those value context and the text field value right to preference data store i am using the corresponding key type function to define a key for each value that you need to store in the data store preference. I will be using the string preference key for creating the username key in data store. I will call the context of data store which is globally accessible to the application. There is the method edit. That save your name required the coroutine scope. This is scope I have already created. Call the scope dot launch and call this function inside this launch data store edit is a responsible for the save the data in data store it after saving the data we have to be navigate to another screen for that i have required a nav controller which i have passed from main activity to welcome page On welcome page on button click I have called the navigate dot nav, nav controller dot navigate passing the root name of the second screen run this application in simulator in this screen I have typed some message and press the next button on the drawer the Prashant Goel is a hard coded string which is the drawer content in the click on the drawer content in the drawer content compose file there is another compose the drawer header in which the Prashant Goel is a hard coded text so I will read the preference data here and update this field read from preference data store first i have create the local context dot current and create the username key by calling the string preference key and pass the key name user underscore name which is the same as we have created for the save your name Let's create a flow of username flow. In the flow builder will be provided the string value. In the flow builder, 
I will call the context dot data store dot data dot map. In this map, I will get the the store key name by passing the username key. And the, this flow I will collect as a state. And the and the dot map method I also call in the the collect method for collect those value which is saved in this key name. By calling the emit, it will be notify the main thread and send the received data to the username. Let's run this application on Android emulator. Actually, I have not used this username in this, so I will update the code and use the username dot value. In a Zpack compose, we have to be use this mutable state. That's why I have collect as a state. Now, again, run the code and pass the value. Now it updated. Change the value. Press next. 